is our budget, and as we discussed last um, meeting, I presented to you all with the budget, you were all emailed, and if there are any questions that I can help answer in regards to the budget, I'd be happy to do so. Um, if not, if the Finance Committee would like to make a motion. Did you get any comments that we weren't aware of? No, I've not gotten any comments or questions. Everybody seems to be pleased with budget. Well, having said that, I make a motion. The Finance Committee makes a motion that uh, we accept and adopt the budget as presented. Got a vote? Can the committee also second? I'm um, happy to second. Oh, I, I would prefer not, but okay. Mary's going to second. Mary's gonna motion. Second. second. All in favor of the budget, raise your right hand. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd also like to talk a little bit about. Um, I don't know how many of you noticed that the unemployment rate did um, go down from, it was in the 9%, approximately 9%, down to 7.2%. And just kind of talk a little bit about um, our existing industries that have continued to grow. So if you'll look back in the Home Depot hire, you know, Lowe's is ramping up for their summer um, part-time work that will come up. Fresh Beginnings has been consistently hiring. Express, 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 Express Scripts has also been hiring, and we've also had some good news from other existing industries. So we've seen um, a lot of comeback in our jobs, so um, we hope that that keeps trending that way, but I thought that was a good sign of the economy and what's happening here in Valdosta, Lowndes County. Um, also, when we talk about um, what we do here, the Industrial Authority met with key leaders to just talk about what we do and how we market and if there was any concerns. And one of the things that came out of that was through our community business and industry partnership, as Alan has mentioned a couple of times, is how do we work with our existing industries and really make sure that we are listening and tying, uh, putting the pieces all together in that puzzle of many different things that take place in the community. So out of that, we have, we'll have our advanced manufacturing um, community business and industry partnership group. And that's when he talks about the champions. Those are those individuals that we've gone out and said, would you come to the table, sit down with us, and tell us where you need help, and how can we bridge those gaps? And we'll also be doing that with our logistics and distribution. And part of that bridging the gap is our workforce development and education. So that's what came out of that meeting. We're very thankful for those individuals that came and participated in that. Answering frequently with regard to existing industry and our ability and willingness to accommodate their needs as time goes on. And those accommodations will frequently lead to an expansion or additional jobs. I think frequently we really undersell ourselves in that regard because the community will look at things like that and presuppose that we had no role at all in that. Well, in fact, we're working quite diligently mm -hmm. to accommodate these industries. 80%, 70 to 80% of all new jobs in the state of Georgia come from existing industries. Very rarely do they come from a new industry locating to the area. So it's important that we take care of those individuals and make sure that they're getting what they need from the college, mm -hmm. from the technical college, and from our high schools. Um, and also to talk about what you're saying is we've heard throughout that meeting, through that meeting as well, is really educating the public better on what it is we actually do. Many times the perception is that we buy land, we sell land, and we give tax payments. Well, that's not actually what we do. We facilitate in a lot of different ways, several different ways. And um, one of the things that Megan mentioned up here is moving forward in a public relations campaign with our local um, media outlets and making sure that we get our story out in several different ways. So we'll be working through that and scheduling those meetings to do that as well to better educate on what it is we really do here at the Industrial Authority rather than call in and sell it and give out tax payments because that's just not what we do. Yeah, I just realized I passed over that and I didn't mean to pass over oh, that's it. That's okay. No, no, no. But we do have, um, I've prepared four or five a series for a series of four or five videos that we will be filming with Valdosta CEO the first week of July. Mm -hmm. So those will be out. We'll also he'll also send us those videos, so we will have we will be able to send the, circulate those as well to the community. And then we're also um, in the develop developing and um, going to go to Scott James and go on his show the Thursday before our board meeting to kind of talk about economic development and then kind of say. Our next board meeting is 
the following Tuesday, <coughs> get them engaged and interested in what the industrial authority does. Well, I've always maintained that if we don't tell our story, someone else will in a much less flattering way. Oh, yeah. um, that